My name is Vasumati As the Cochrane collaboration reaches 20 years of existence, contributors consider the challenges and opportunities moving forward. Now that we are going to celebrate the exit from the adolescence and the entrance into the maturity, if you wish, uh, that uh, we discover that we have accomplished a lot of things, but the number of things that still needs to be accomplished is huge. I think we're doing a great job. We had changed uh, the way people see evidence in the world. We, you know, people talk about the Cochrane collaboration everywhere, but we have to be aware that growing too fast might be a problem as well. I'm a little bit conservative, and I think um, that we should be careful not to spread ourselves too thinly and to stick to the product, which is good evidence. The future of Cochrane will be in getting Cochrane reviews into use, into practice. I think we will be looking back in 10 years and we should be disappointed if they're not used more. So if we've got 8,000 reviews in 10 years' time, that's not a success. If we've got 6,000 reviews and they're influencing thousands, tens of thousands of healthcare decisions every day, that's a success. I would like to move next step to try to convince policy makers so that I think we can have more impact on that. So I, I think that is my aim perhaps during the next few years. We have a really big challenge in making our products as useful as possible to decision makers. Um, so particularly where we're answering, you know, it's not just a question about which drug is better, but where we're answering big complex policy questions about complex interventions, different approaches. There is increasing need for people who make healthcare decisions to uh, have evidence directly relevant to them. Traditionally, Cochrane Reviews have rather put the evidence on a plate so that other people can take or, or leave them, but there's an increasing need for us to tailor the reviews, I think, more directly to those making decisions. We have to accept that there are many questions that our users have that we don't even begin to address. I think in the next 20 years, we have to understand the, real, the user's needs and make sure that our product uh, changes to uh, encompass those those needs. For my consumer advocates, I really concerned about how much influence the clinical practice that improve the patient outcome. So one of the big exciting changes that I think we're going to see in the next 20 years is a different way that people access information with some of the changes coming with semantic web and, uh, and you know, all the, the new internet technologies and uh, I think the collaboration's in a, in a good position to participate in this be, just because of the, of the way our reviews are structured. I would like to see that every Indian thinks it is his or her responsibility to see that he or she uses the Cochrane Library as the first source of reliable information for healthcare. What we'd like to do is increase the uh, geographic reach of Cochrane, have many, many more review authors and review users uh, in resource poor settings, uh, have greater um, diversity of language uh, represented in Cochrane, so uh, English is the main language, we have full text translation of Spanish, we're getting partial translations in French, but really we should anticipate that Cochrane should be available in all the WHO main language groups. I think a major challenge is for the collaboration to, to keep its informal and personal style, uh, its voluntary um, attitude while becoming more professional and structured and organized. Now we're hearing about the prioritizing of reviews and nobody can agree whose priority it is. Is the priority of the UK, the funders, of a substantial proportion of this? Is the priorities of the WHO, who are looking after most of the world's population? Who is it? So how do we manage that? Do we turn away the enthusiastic volunteer that's going to take us more time because they're, they're from Thailand and their language isn't English? Or 
What do we do about this? This bottom-up organization, and Cochrane described itself that way from the beginning. It's bottom-up. It's the ideas for the reviews come from the reviewers themselves. At the same time, we need to satisfy policymakers' needs, which is they know which reviews are the most important to them. It might be the ones that cost the most or have the most patients, whatever, the biggest burden of disease. So there has to be some priority setting. So how do you have more of a top-down organization, whether it's for priority setting or organizational purposes, and also have the bottom-up spirit that has made Cochrane different and uh, kept it alive and exciting. Because the production of reviews is becoming increasingly specialized. And whilst it is great if we can have young medical students and others involved in the process of reviewing, we have to be realistic about the size of some of the reviews and the need for fairly large teams that include experienced authors that can manage this. So we want to get, you know, governments to come to us and ask questions and deliver the answer in three months. And if you want to do that, you need crack teams. You need people who can do things very fast, committed, and expert reviews. So the collaboration is now moving towards a path of professionalism and competence. We have to realize that when I started, I knew nothing about systematic reviews. I was mentored. So we've got a whole generation of students who are inspired by the message of Cochrane who are likely to get left behind unless we find place in the collaboration to mentor younger people and to ensure the legacy of the collaboration does not die out. We have a large amount of people who were here at the very beginning and doing succession planning, thinking of the next generation, uh, supporting the next generation to attract funding and build capacity at the local level. I think that has to be the number one challenge at the moment. In Africa, there are very few countries where uh, there are trained people uh, to, to do Cochrane reviews. So we try our best to reach them, but you know, I, I think we would need a much greater effort to involve, to uh, build capacity. Over the last six to 12 months, we're thinking, how can we make a difference in terms of global participation? So we're exploring the notion of a Cochrane Academy uh, which engages more fully uh, lower middle income countries, which provides a, a career track record for contributors in that part of the world. It is an excellent experience being in a steering group, being able to contribute, uh, being contributed in a presenter group to take this responsibility and also learn from other groups and from other people who are in the steering group who has longer been in the leadership position, learn how to be in the leadership position. The biggest challenge is going to be able to sustain the growth in our development. Um, I think there's a big explosion in the um, amount of people that want to get involved in the work, but we need to have the funding, the resources to actually um, achieve that, I think. And the reality of this is we need public funding to actually uh, do the work that we do, and if we don't get that, then Cochrane would probably, would probably fail. Mientras la colaboración Cochrane produzca eh, productos valiosos, que ayudan a tomar decisiones, que ayudan a los trazadores, que ayudan a usar mejor los recursos y a proteger la gente, muy posiblemente va a conseguir formas de eh, recibir la financiación que necesita para funcionar. Nobody sits back and says, we've cracked this now. They all say, what, what's the next hurdle we've got to get over? And they're always looking forward, they're always looking to improve, um, and that keeps it exciting and vibrant. The issues are really important, and we haven't solved all the problems, and there are a lot of problems with the health system, and new challenges emerge. Ask any patient, any decision maker, what do you need for your decisions? Uh, it's the type of evidence Cochrane provides. It will only become more important in the past 20 years, and Cochrane will uh, uh, be around in 2035 uh, and be, be much stronger than they are now.